Well, hello there YouTube, how's it going? How would you like to make an unlimited amount of money in No Man's Sky? To give you an idea of how much money you're going to make here and how long it will take you to make it using this method using a pretty poor C-class ship, in just half an hour I made just over 13 million units. So if you have a spare hour or two and a ship that's worth more than the one I was using, you can literally make hundreds of millions of units in no time at all. And another bonus of this glitch is you're able to make thousands of nanites at the same time, so you're on to a double payday. Let's get to it. Before we get stuck in, why not hit that subscribe button so you never have to miss out on any No Man's Sky videos. There's one thing you need to have not done in order for this glitch to work. You need to make sure that you haven't acquired the maximum number of ships because you're going to need a ship space for this to work as it involves claiming a new ship. One thing you can do, but you don't have to, is to make a manual save before you crack on in case you want to restore a pre-glitch save point. So the first thing you need to do is head up to a space station and go over to the cartographer and purchase yourself a planetary chart that's going to get you the coordinates of a stress distress beacon on a nearby planet. If you have some navigation data to trade, this is of course free, otherwise it'll set you back a few nanites, but don't worry, you're going to be making them back and plenty more later on in the video. Once you have these coordinates for the distress signal, go ahead and travel to it and you should find yourself a crashed ship. Now hopefully the crashed ship you come across is better and worth more than the one I did when I was making this video. But if it's worth the same, you're still going to be making many, many millions of units here, so don't worry about it. You're going to want to claim this crashed ship, but don't worry about your existing one. It won't disappear and you'll be able to spawn it wherever you want. Or if you have a freighter, you can find it in there. If you don't have a freighter, I'll leave a link in the description showing you how you can get one for free. Now, of course, this crashed ship is going to have many, many broken parts because, of course, it's crashed. Once you claim it, you're going to want to fix it enough to get yourself back to the space station. And that involves fixing the pulse engine and the launch thrusters. Don't worry about fixing anything else as these are the only two components you need. It's really easy to fix both of these and all the things you need to craft are just a few common resources that are widely available such as ferrite dust and dihydrogen. So go ahead and fix these two components and once you have fixed the components, go ahead and fly back to the space station you just came from so you can start raking in the cash. Now that you're back on the space station, if you haven't done so already, scan your current ship using your analysis visor so you can figure out how much your ship is worth. In my case, this basic C-class ship was worth round about 1.5 million units, even with all the broken parts on it. So if you manage to get a B-class, A-class, or even an S-class crashed ship, it's going to be worth a hell of a lot more than mine. Now what you want to do is head up to the side of the landing pads in the space station and wait for other ships to fly in and give them a good old scan with your analysis visor. If the ship you're scanning is worth the same or less than the crashed ship you've just picked up, head on down to the captain of the ship and make an offer on it. You're going to want to make sure you trade for the ship, do not buy it outright. So assuming the ship is worth less than your crash ship, it's going to cost you absolutely nothing to trade your broken ship for theirs. Sometimes it may cost you a little bit more, such as 55,000 units to trade ships, if it's worth slightly more than yours. But it's worth it because you're going to get enough scrap to make all that money back and a lot more. Now once you've traded ships for little to no money, head on up to the side of the space station so you can go and scrap your newly acquired ship. Well, trade the ship for scrap from it. Before you do this, you're going to need to make sure that you have a decent amount of space in your inventory for these scrapped resources and parts to go. So if you don't, go ahead and sell some resources in the nearby trading terminal. They're not going to be worth more than what you're going to get from the ship. If you have inventory space, go ahead and scrap the ship. It will tell you before you scrap it how much the scrap is worth and you should be making an absolute minimum of around 300 to 400,000 units per ship. Now if they're more valuable, you'll be able to make over 1 million units per ship 
and this is where you make money a lot quicker. So go ahead and scrap the ship and once you have done it, all the resources and parts from it are going to go into your inventory. So do a quick 180 and head up to the dude selling stash of upgrades and initiate a conversation with them to purchase upgrades. Once you have done, then hit sell and you should find a couple of um, modules from the recently scrapped ship. Now assuming you don't need any of these modules, just go ahead and sell them to the starship dealer and you're going to start getting nanites. Obviously the better the module, the more nanites you'll get. Once you've got your nanites, go and head over to the trade terminal and start selling the parts you've just acquired. Most of them you don't have any other use for, so you can just sell them for a few hundred thousand units. Sometimes you're going to get a bunch of resources like activated indium, which is worth a lot. So if you want to ever use that, you can keep it. You don't have to sell it. I've kept a few things of mine, but most often than not, I just sell them and you get hundreds and hundreds of thousands of units in no time at all. Once you've done that, go ahead back to the hangar of the space station and the original crashed ship you claimed earlier in the video will be sat there looking all lonely with no owner. So just reclaim this ship again entirely for free and repeat the last few steps as many times as you want or until you get bored. Once you've finished doing this method more times than you care to count, you can scrap the original crashed ship you found and for the last time and get a few hundred thousand or a couple million units from that as well. Don't worry about not having a ship to fly away with. One of your other ships should be sat in the hangar of the space station as well, so you can get out of there. And there you have it, a sort of glitch slash easy method to make yourself hundreds of millions of units, if you have the patience, easily. And as always, if you found this video useful, why not hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep an eye out for any future No Man's Sky videos. Thanks for watching and peace out.